Hello everyone. I was just putting my makeup away and realized I need to declutter it. It's just, there's things in here I do not need to go into the new year with. So I thought I would turn the camera on and go through the process with you. Um, I'm at my desk. I have a much smaller makeup collection than I once did. I used to have drawers and drawers and drawers and drawers and drawers of makeup and I'm no longer that way but I still have things that I'm not using that I want to weed out so that is kind of what I'm going to do I am going to change the camera angle so you can kind of see what I'm doing but I thought I would say hello first before I dive into it so I just went through my purse and my coat pockets and grabbed the like lip products and powder that I had hiding <clears throat> so that I think I have everything. I might have like one lipstick at work in my desk drawer, but otherwise I think this is it. So let's go ahead and declutter my makeup. Okay, so this is what I have pulled out already. This is coming out of pockets and I was just talking about my um, pin that palette for next year. So some of the stuff was just out, but I have most of my makeup in these drawers. There are two smaller drawers and then a larger drawer right here. So... Honestly, what I think I'm going to do is just start over here and work my way over. So this drawer has always had like my eyeshadows in them. Um, <clears throat> I have these two pulled out. So I have the Tarte Man Eater palette. This is what I'm going to be panning in 2020. And then I have the Anastasia Sultry and this is the companion palette to this. Like I'll be reaching in here for different shades and stuff. So this is what this one looks like. And this is what this one looks like. The other shadows I have in here all are in this Z palette, which I'm going to be honest, these shadows are old at this point. Um, I have hit pan on a few of them. I was panning them for a while and kind of got bored and they're just honestly old at this point. So I am going to get rid of all of these. Um, so I will hold on to the actual Z palette itself, but I'm going to get rid of these eyeshadows. <clears throat> And then I have a larger Z palette that has two eyeshadows in it, and both of these are going to go too. And again, I am going to keep the actual Z palette itself. What I would like to do um, when I'm done panning these is just buy a bunch of singles and make my own eyeshadow palettes. I'm kind of over palettes, like pre-made palettes, because they never are exactly what I want. So that's what I think I'm going to do in the future, but um, for right now, I'm going to get rid of all of these shadows that are, oh, you can't even see it. <clears throat> I'll put what I'm getting rid of over here. So, and then I'm gonna keep these ones. Okay, this main drawer, this is the main event. Oh, I guess I do have other eyeshadows. This is the Bare Minerals Quad that I've been working on forever. Um, it has this light pink shade that I really like, but to be honest, I should probably just get rid of this because that's the only shade I use. And it's just, it's getting old as well so I am gonna get rid of this as well I have a couple of different organizers so I just kind of keep all my stuff in here and this is what I work out of when I do my makeup at home um, but I'm just gonna pull out kind of sections and we'll go through them kind of show you some more stuff um, what I'm gonna do is my cheek products I think I'm just looking at my other drawer I think this is it um, <clears throat> So this is what I have for like bronzer, blush, and highlighter, a lot less than I used to have. Um, what I use every day is this e.l.f. bronzer. Um, it's new to me. I got it maybe like a month or two ago. So this is my everyday bronzer, so I'm definitely keeping that. And then this is my everyday blush. It's by Hourglass. It is the Mood Exposure Blush. And it looks a little something like this. It's really pretty. Um, I love that it kind of has the brightening um of a blush and highlighter in one I think it's really nice so this is what I use almost every day um and <clears throat> let's see here this highlighter is from Laura Geller that has been long discontinued it did break but I still have half of it that I'm trying to use so I am going to keep this and keep using it until it's not usable anymore and now we're down to this group. Um, this Kevin Aquan sculpting powder is in the shade light, which is a good fit for me, but this has cracked and I honestly don't use it a lot. So I am going to get rid of this one. Um, 
This is a Makeup Geek highlighter in Glitz. It's like a pink iridescent highlighter. I'm not sure if you can tell. I can swatch it for you. Um, it's okay. I just don't really use highlighter, so I'm going to get rid of it. I honestly have barely touched it. I've only used it when I've kind of forced myself to. So, um, This is a Milk highlighter. This is the Holographic Stick. Um, I do kind of want to keep this. I think it's unique, and I think because it's a cream... I might be able to use it in a more subtle way. So I am going to keep this. I don't think it's going to be like an everyday type product for me. But <clears throat> and then this is a blush from Tarte. It's the party blush that they were giving away um, like forever ago. Um, so let me see this. It's a nice blush. Um, I guess I kind of want to compare it to the hourglass one that I use every day and I love so much. Oh, my watch is in the way. Okay, um, so this one here, this first one is the Tarte one, and then this one is the Hourglass one. I don't even know if you guys can tell the difference. Um, they're very similar, so honestly, I'm just going to keep the Hourglass one and get rid of the Tarte one, because I prefer the Hourglass one, and they're very similar. Um, so, there you go. Okay, I guess for powders now, I can go through these. Um, and then I'm just pulling from my side drawer that kind of has some extras in it. <clears throat> so, um, this is the powder that I have in my purse at all times. It's from Cover FX. It's the light blotting powder. Um, and then I have this little brush in there. I have hit a little bit of pan. Um, so I will continue to keep this in my bag until it's gone. It's just, I don't use it a ton, but it's nice to have it there. My favorite powder is from Tarte. It's the Smooth Operator Powder. So this is what I'm working on. This is what I've been traveling with um, because it works the best for me. So I am going to keep this. Um, and then at home, I've been using this number seven powder. And it's okay. It does not keep me as matte as long as the Tarte one does. So I'm just trying to use it up at this point. It's been in my project to use it up. So I'm going to keep it to keep finishing it. But I wouldn't like get it again. And then I have a backup of the Tarte powder, so I'm going to keep that. And then this is the um, SPF 45 setting powder. I like can't get this thing to work for me really well, so I'm going to get rid of it. So now we have setting sprays. Um, I have the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I really like this. And then this is a seaweed toner. Um, it's like a hydrating toner that I decanted a little bit into here. This is an old Urban K sampler that I love the spray on this. Um, this is what I've been using in the winter for my setting spray. It's a little bit more hydrating, I feel like. Um, it definitely does not keep my makeup on as long, but I don't always need that. So I'm going to keep these all to use up, um, but the Milani one is definitely the favorite. Moving into a foundation, I'm going to keep all the ones I have. Um, so I have the Cover FX Power Play Foundation, and I'm in the shade N10, and I like it quite a bit. It's been, um, it's been what I've been wearing lately, so I'm going to keep that. And then the combo I've been using all year is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream for oily skin with the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops, because um, this is the lightest shade. But CoverGirl, this is not light enough. Do you see my skin? Like, this is orange. So I have to lighten it up with this. But I really like this combo. This is um, more of, like, my summer color. Maybe even a shade darker. So it can work no matter how much color I have. I just use more or less of these drops. And I really like the combo and the texture of it. So keeping that. Um, okay, this is the only concealer I have. Oh, that's a lie. I have the Pixie. Um, this is the Bare Minerals Well Rested. It's okay. And then I have the Pixie um, Concentrate. This is old though. So I am going to get rid of the Pixie. I probably should have gotten rid of it a long time ago. And I'm going to keep this one and I'm probably going to be hunting for a new concealer um, after this one's done. Something lightweight though. For brows, 
I have two brow products. I use the NYX Tame and Frame and then the Essence Make Me Brow, um, kind of when I don't want to actually do my brows. So I'm going to keep both of these. I probably need to replace them soon. They're probably getting a little dry, but they're still working for right now. For mascara, these are my two favorite mascaras. They're both from Essence. It's the Lash Princess False Lash Effect. I just have the waterproof and the regular version. I probably need to get new ones of these um, as well. I'll probably just put in a Ulta order soon to pick up some of these replenishing products, but this is my favorite mascara and I'm so happy that they came out with a waterproof version of it. Okay, then I have miscellaneous eye products. And this is the eye primer I'm currently using. It's the Wet n Wild one. It's the only one I have, so I'm gonna keep it. This is the eyeliner I'm using a lot right now. It's the NYX Super Skinny Eye Marker, and I like it, so I'm going to keep it. Um, I also like the Hourglass 1.5 millimeter um, eye pencil, so I'm going to keep that. And then we're down to these ones. So this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil um, is in Cottage Cheese. I honestly stopped using this a while ago, so I should just get rid of it. And then I have two eyeliners. They're both from NYX. One's like a gold and one's a purple. Um, so we have kind of a swatch. I'm going to keep the gold one. I don't really reach for these a ton, but I reach for the gold more than the purple. I like these on my lower lash line. So I'm going to keep the gold and then get rid of the purple because I can always layer like an eyeshadow over the gold to make it whatever color. Um, or sometimes I like it gold alone. The last thing before we get into lips is face primer. And I have a few. So, um, these are the ones I currently have. I'm currently working on the Cover FX one. Uh, I really like this. It's been kind of like my favorite one, but I am curious to try some other things. So I'm going to keep it to finish it up. Um, this NYX Hydro Touch one I've had for way too long, so this just needs to be decluttered because it's I don't, wouldn't feel comfortable using it on my face. And then I have the Milk Makeup Blur Stick, which it's kind of like on its last legs. It probably only has a couple of uses left in it, so I'll probably prioritize just to finish this up and be done with it. And then I did pick up the Too Faced Primed in Peachy matte primer. This is the mini size, like the half ounce size. I got this at the VIB sale because I knew I wanted to try it, but I'm not done with these ones, so I haven't opened it yet, but I am going to keep it to give it a try. Okay, so I have all the lip products out. Let me just shift this a little bit. Um, I'm just going to start here. I got a pack of the Lip Smacker lip balms. Um, so I actually have a few more of these all over the place. They're not the best lip balm ever, but it's better than nothing. So like I have one at work, I have one downstairs. Um, I think I have one in my car and they're fine. Um, they're kind of like if I lose one, I'll just grab a new one. So I'm going to keep these, but they're not like the best lip balm I've ever used. They're just kind of there. Um, so I'm going to keep those. Oh, I forgot. These are eyeshadows. Um, these are the two Stila glitter eyeshadows that I have. Honestly, I think they're drying up. So I'm going to let these go because you can see they're like getting patchy in there. Like there's holes in there. And I can tell you I've not used them enough to, for that to be the case. So yeah, these are dried up. Um, so those are going to go. Those snuck in here. Okay, moving on. Um, other lip balm. This is the Kapari Lip Glossy. This is my favorite lip balm. Um, this is what I use most of the time, so I'm definitely keeping it. And now we're into colored lip products. So I'm going to start with lip pencils. I have three lip liner pencils, I guess. Um, so the first one here is from Jordana, and it is in the shade Tawny. Is Jordana even a brand anymore, you guys? Like, I don't know, but I love this color. I've gone through a couple of these and I absolutely love them. Um, this next one is from Ulta. It's the Melissa Michelle collection. I think this is like called Spicy. Um, and it's a little bit darker. So there's that. And I have the matching lipstick here. <clears throat> and then the last one is from NYX. This is in the shade uh, Natural. And this is what I use most days to line my lips. So I actually am going to keep all three of these, I think, because they are a little bit different enough for me. The Tawny and the Natural probably could be interchanged, but 
um, I know I can use them up because I use one of those pretty much every day. So I'm going to keep all three of these. I'm just going to stick it in this bin that I have to keep everything straight of what I'm keeping in that. So for lipstick, I have a few. I'm just going to pull the lip glosses out. I only have two, so that's no big deal. Okay, I have quite a bit of these, but I don't use them all. So I'm going to start with the ones that I do use a lot. This is my new favorite lipstick. This is from Marc Jacobs. It's the Lip Glossy Stick. It is so nice, and this is a nice nude shade. So this is what I'm using most of the time. So I'm definitely going to keep this. <clears throat> I'm going to keep it out because I know that it's going to go in my purse. Um, the next, I guess we can go to this. This is an older lipstick. I've had this for a while. It's from Ulta. It's in the shade Nude. There was something on the bottom, but it broke off. Um, this is another really nice lipstick, like a nice kind of neutral pink. So I think I'm going to keep that as well because it's very wearable for me. Um, the next one, this is from Ulta as well. It's the Velvet Matte Lip Crayon in Terrestrial. I can't remember really what this swatches out to being. Oh, yeah, I remember this now. Also, right on cue with the kind of shades that I like, so I am going to keep this one. Um, this is like right up my alley. See, I remember why I have these now. <clears throat> okay, so the other one that I know that I love is from Bare Minerals. It's the um, liquid lipstick that they have and it's this in the shade boss I love this it does last all day for me and um, it's really comfortable to wear and it's right on cue with the like warm kind of neutrally shade so I am gonna keep this when I travel with it quite a bit because um, when I'm presenting I like to have something that I know is gonna last so those are for sure staying shocker all the nudes now let's get into some of these other ones. So I have two from Bite Beauty. I have Rhubarb and Cayenne. Rhubarb was my jam a while ago, you guys. I used up like a lot of these because um, they used to always come in the holiday kits. And I still really like it. Oh. It smells fine. I think I'm going to keep it. It's just a mini size and it is a deeper shade that I like. Cayenne is a bright red that I can confidently say I have never worn um, because like a true red is just not always my thing. I'm more of like a berry, so I think I'm going to get rid of this one, and it's a little bit old, so that one can go. <clears throat> this is from Flower Beauty. This is Cinnamon Crush, and this one is okay. Um, like... It's fine. It's comfortable. It kind of reminds me of other shades that I have here, I guess. Do I like that better than rhubarb? I think I do. Maybe I'll keep this one. I know that this one's newer than rhubarb, so maybe I'll get rid of rhubarb and keep this one instead. This is rhubarb, which is a little bit more berry-ish, but I think I like this one more. So I think I'm going to keep this one. Okay, this is the matching. So I have that lip liner from Ulta's Melissa Michelle collab. This is the matte lipstick in Spicy. <clears throat> I have used this quite a bit, but it's like janky on the inside. Like, what is happening? Girl, get it together. Um, yeah, I don't really know how to fix that. So it is a nice shade, but I feel like it's close enough to spicy that I don't need it and it's like weird in here so I'm gonna get rid of this um, and then I guess I have room to swatch two more I have two more lipsticks this one is from Becca this was from the Chloe and Malika collection this is Cupid's Kiss and I really like this one but I feel like it just looks weird on me like it's almost too cool tone so I think I'm gonna get rid of it it's right here um, just because, I don't know, whenever I wear it, I just feel like something's off. And the last one I have is from Bite, and this is Glossé. And this one, I just feel like is so similar to other things that I have, and, um, it's kind of old. So I think I'm going to get rid of this as well, which leaves me with one, two, three... 
actual lipsticks and then a liquid oh I'm sorry four actual lipsticks and a liquid lipstick so I feel like that's much more manageable um, all of these are neutral and this is my like deeper shade which works for me so there's that I need a new I have my eye makeup remover here but it works wonderful on lipstick as well um, I make it myself I'll put the video in the cards if you're interested the last part is lip gloss and I love lip gloss but I only have two right now and this was a little dual pack from Buxom so I have the shade White Russian and the shade Celeste. I have used up a full size of White Russian, so I'm definitely keeping it. Celeste has a glitter to it that sometimes I'm in the mood for and sometimes I'm not. Um, but I think I'm going to keep it for now because, like I said, sometimes I'm in the mood for it and it's fun. So I'm just, I don't know why I swatched that. So I'm going to keep them. But I do think I want to get another lip gloss or two. Um that's full size. So I don't know if it's going to be a buxom one or a different one, but I guess also this Marc Jacobs one is kind of like a lipstick and a lip gloss in, in one, but whatever. So these are the lip products I'm keeping with the chapsticks and my lip balm. It is a full basket, but there's a variety of things in here and I'm happy with it. So whatever. So this is the panel that I'm getting rid of. I feel like I did a good job with it. And then this is all the makeup that I'm keeping, but you know what? Like it's really not that much. It's not like it is, but like comparatively to what I used to have, it's not. So anyway, I'm happy with it and I'm going to speed up the process where I'm cleaning this out. Cause I know that's kind of like satisfying. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy. <music> just a tour of the drawers over here I have the eyeshadow so I have my empty Z palette the large one as soon as I clean out the smaller one I will go in here and then the sultry palette this is the main event um, so this is a cutlery like a silverware holder and then this is just a different kind of holder I got from TJ Maxx but I have face primers here my eye products so like mascara eye primer eyeliners this is concealer and brows and then foundation <clears throat> and then this is all the lip products in my rotation and then I have setting sprays down in between the two organizers and then here I have powder my main eyeshadow palette and then the other powder this is really just waiting to go back in my travel makeup bag um, tools and kind of miscellaneous things go in here and then I have my bronzer, my blush, my highlighter, and then I did just put my stick highlighter in here to remind me that I had it. And then over here, I have the other lip products and then my backup. So I have that primer, the other powder, and then these extra chapsticks. So that is kind of the makeup collection I have and declutter. But thank you guys so much for joining me. And I hope this inspired you to either clean out or at least reorganize your makeup. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.